Hello everyone, Scooney Double Sun here bringing you another exciting game in the 2008 replay with Inside Pitch. In today's game, we have the 6 and 5 Detroit Tigers taking on the 5 and 5 Chicago White Sox. This is game three of a three game series. The White Sox have won the last two. They're looking to try to sweep the series, but will the but the Tigers are looking to try to prevent that. And here is the starting lineup for the Detroit Tigers. Leading off the center fielder, Cleek Thomas. Batting second, the shortstop, Edgar Renteria. Batting third, the designated hitter, Gary Sheffield. Batting fourth in the cleanup position, the right fielder, Maglio Ordonis. Batting fifth, the third baseman, Miguel Cabrera. Batting 6th, the left fielder, Jacques Jones. Batting 7th, the first baseman, Marcus Thames. Batting 8th, the catcher, Brandon Ng. And, all, and batting ninth, the second baseman, Raymond Santiago. On the mound for the White Sox it is Xavier Valquez comes into the game with a 4.85 ERA. Two wins, no losses, 13 innings pitched, allowed two hits, five strikeouts, and four walks. We're here at U.S. Cellular Field, which gives a plus one to strikeouts, a minus one to walks, and nothing to home runs. With that, Cleet Thomas steps up. He's batting a 150. And here's the first pitch. 1-5, strikeout 13, that's a 10, struck him out! So one away, let's take a look at the defense for the Chicago White Sox. Up there in left field, it is Quinton Swisher at center, dies in right field, going around the horn, Creed on third, Cabrera at short, Ramirez on second, Cornico on first, Pazinski behind the plate, and Valquez is on the mound. Edgar Renteria batting a 250. Here's the pitch. 5-1 blank. 3-4, and that's going to be a ground ball to Creed. And that is out number one. Out number two, sorry. Gary Sheffield batting a 241. 5 3, strikeout 12. That's a 2. Struck him out. So no runs, no hits, and no errors. We go to the bottom of the first, and here is the starting lineup for the Chicago White Sox. Leading off the center fielder, Nick Swisher. Batting second, the shortstop, Orlando Cabrera. Batting third, the designated hitter, Jim Tomey. Batting fourth in the cleanup position, the first baseman, Paul Corneco. Batting fifth, the right fielder, Jeremy Dye. Batting sixth, the catcher, A.J. Przinski. Batting seventh, the left fielder, Carlos Quinton. Batting eighth, the third baseman, Joe Creed. And batting ninth, the second baseman, Alexi Ramirez. On the mound for the Tigers, it is Kenny Rogers. Comes into the game with a 1.97 ERA. One win, one loss. 13.23 innings pitched, allowed 13 hits, 7 strikeouts, and 1 walk. Nick Swisher batting a 237. 2-2 two -two at the ballpark. We're going to go to U.S. Cellular Field for this play. 3-4, and that's going to be a base hit. And Swisher is on with a base, leads off with a base hit. It's a hit and run. The infield going to come in for this play. 
On hit and runs, all ground double plays get a minus two. All base run ratings get a plus two. All home run and walk ratings cut in half for the batter, rounded down. All line outs are double plays. And if the batter strikes out, we'll resolve it as a steal. Cabrera batting a 270, but before we do that, let's take a look at the defense for the Detroit Tigers. Jones is out there in left field, Thomas in center, or Donis at first, at right field, sorry. Cabrera on third, Rentia at short, Santiago on second, Thames is on first, in behind the plate. And Rogers is on the mound. Three four at the ballpark. Two five double star one. It's a ground ball to Rentia. And that is a five. So what that means is Swisher. We'll go to second, and the out is at first. So on a fielder's choice, there's Swisher <clears throat> going to second. Jim Tomei is up. He's batting a 197. Strategy rolls a one. 3-1. Three, strike 16. That's a 10. Struck him out. Struck him out, two away, and that's going to bring up Paul Corneco. He's batting a 154. Strategy roll is an eight. 4 6, strikeout eight. 12, too high. 2 3, and that is going to be a double. And with that, Swisher will. Bring up. For sure, we'll come on to score. Cortico on second. That's going to bring up Jeremy Dye. Dye batting a 200. Here's the pitch. Strategy rolls a 7. Two outs here in the bottom of the first with a runner on second. 4 3 blank. 3-3 three, three in that 3-2. Ground ball to Thames. And that will be out number three. One run, two hits, no errors. After one, it's White Sox one. Tigers nothing. We go to the top of the second. It's Maglio Ordonis, Miguel Cabrera, and Jock Jones due up for the Tigers. Maglio Ordonis batting a 279. One four possible error on a ground ball. Two four base hit to uh, pass Ramirez. And Miguel Cabrera now up. He's batting a three fifty. Infield coming to double play depth. Strategy rolls a 12. Here's the pitch. Two, four. Strikeout 12. 16, too high. Six, two, double star two. It's going to be a fly ball out there to Swisher. And that is out number two. Out number one, sorry. One away, and Jock Jones is up. He's batting an 078, an 060, ah, an 087. Strategy rolls a four. Tigers holding off, 6-4. Strikeout, 13, 19, too high. 5-5, five, five, and that's going to be a pump up to second base to Ramirez. And that is out number two, two away. Marcus Thames, 278, here's the pitch. Strategy roll four, 2-2, two, two, home run, 18, the 20 is too high. 
Four, six, and that's going to be a ground ball to Creed. And out number three. So no runs, one hit, no errors, and one left on for the Tigers. We go to the bottom of the first, I mean bottom of the second. It's A.J. Pazinski, Carlos Quinton, and Joe Creed do up for the White Sox. Pazinski batting a 394. 2-5 range play. 3-3, three, three, ground ball to Thames. Thames' range is a 1, that's a 3. That ball's going back down to the wall. That's going to be a double. Thames can't get to it in time. And with that, Brzezinski will hustle to second base and slide in. And he is safe. Leaves off with a double out there in the right field. Got the Esther Mordonis, then go gets it, tosses it back in, and holds Pazinski at second. Carlos Quinton batting a 552, strategy roll 9, infield, normal depth. Here's the pitch. 6 1, blank. 4-2, and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. And the out is at first, as Venterio will get it. Throw it over to Thames. Pazinski will get the hold side. Joe Creed batting a 2-43, strategy roll 19, holding off. 1-2, wild pitch. On a 1-8, it becomes a wild pitch. On a 9 that's a pass ball. 19 outside of the range. 4-4, four, four, double star 2. It's going to be a fly ball to Thomas. Out number 2, and Pazinski will still hold at second. Alexi Ramirez is up. He's batting a 250. Strategy rolls at 18. Here's the pitch. 3-6. That's going to be a walk. 3-17. Too high. 3-4. That's going to be a base hit. Pass the shortstop. So, we now have runners on the corners. Pazinski will go to third. He'll come home on a three through six. That's a two. And he'll get the stop sign. So, to the top of the order we go. We'll take a look here at Nick Swisher's stats. So far, played in 10 games, 39 at-bats, 5 runs, 6 RBIs. Three home runs. He's hitting above his actual. He's doing a lot better right now so far than he did in the actual season. But still, already to tell. Nick Swisher, one for one with a run scored. Strategy rolls a nine. Five, five. Blank. Four, five. Fly ball to Ordonis. And that's going to be out number three. No runs, two hits, no errors, and two left on after two. Chicago one, Detroit method. We go to the top of the third. It's going to be Brandon Ng, Raymond Santiago, and Cleek Thomas due up for the Tigers. Brandon Ng batting an 0 59 Six four, strikeout sixteen. That's a fourteen. Struck him out. Raymond Santiago batting a two fifty. Five two at the ballpark. Two five double star one, and that's going to be a fly ball out there to Quinton. Two away. We go to the top of the order, Clay Thomas, 
0 for 1 with a strikeout. Here's the pitch. 6-2, strikeout 13. That's a 2. Struck him out. So no runs, no hits, no errors as the White Sox retired the Tigers in order. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the bottom of the third. It's going to be Orlando Cabrera, Jim Tomey, and Paul Corneco do up with Sox. Orlando Cabrera is 0 for 1. Here's the pitch. 3-2 blank. 6-4, double star 1, ground ball to Rentia. Out number 1. One away, and that's going to bring up Jim Tomey. Tomey is 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Here's the pitch. 5-6, that's going to be a base hit. And Jim is on with a base hit. Infield coming to double play depth. Paul Corneco is up. He's one for one with a double and an RBI. 4-4. Four, four. Blank. 2-2, two, two, and that's going to be a single pass, Jones. And with that, Tommy will go to second. The stop sign goes up. He'll hold at second, doesn't advance, with an adjusted base run rating of a nate of one or less. The runner will hold. Jeremy Dye is 0 for 1. Here's the pitch. 5-5. Five, five, blank. Strategy roll is an 11. It's 1 out with runners on 1st and 2nd. 6-3. Power hit to Jones. On an 18, that's going to be a double... And with that, a run is scored. Koneko will go to third, die on second. We're going to check this for extra bases. We have a one, and we have a one on the other die as well. The lead runner advances on both of them, so Koneko will come home to score. And if roll is less than or equal to the trailing runner, that Jeremy's roll is a two. That's a one. He'll go to third. It's a two-run RBI for Die, And the Sox take a three-nothing lead here in the bottom of the third. One out, and A.J. Pruszynski will be up. Pruszynski is one for one with a double. Strategy roll, 13. 4-3, strikeout, 6, that's a 1, struck him out. So with that, Carlos Quinton is up. Quinton is 0 for 1, strategy roll 16, Sox holding off. 6-4, home run chance on a 1-13. That's a 7 and that's a two-run home run for Carlos Quinton. And that's his fifth home run of the season. And he hits that down the right field side and into the stands. It's now 5 nothing Chicago. As he'll clear the bases, Joe Creed will come up. Creed is 0 for 1. Here's the pitch. 6-1 blank. 5-3. Top 
Power hit to Jones. On a 13, that's a triple. I'm sorry, on a 13, that is a double. On an 8 through 14, it becomes a double. Creed with... Creed smacks a double past Jones. Alexi Ramirez is one for one. Strategy rolls at 18. 3 1 strikeout. Uh, 3 1's a blank. 1 3. Grand ball to the shortstop. And that will retire the side. Four runs, five hits, no errors, <clears throat> and one left on after three. Chicago five, Detroit nothing. We go to the top of the fourth. It's going to be Edgar Rentia, Gary Sheffield, and Maglio Ordonez do up for the Tigers. Edgar Rentia is 0 for 1. Here's the pitch. 2-2. Two, two. Home run, that's a four, that's a four, that ball is gone. And you just hear the crack and that ball is going down the left field side. It's hooking to the pole. And into the stands, that ball is out of here. Solo home run for Edgar Rentia. And it puts the Tigers on the board. It's five to one. Gary Sheffield is 0 for 1 with the strikeout. Here's the pitch. 4-1, that's going to be a wild pitch. It's a foul ball. Smacks that one into the stands, and some lucky fan will get that ball. 4-2-4, four, four. strikeout 12, that's an 11. Struck him out! Struck him out, and that's going to bring up Maglio Ordonez, who is 1-1. One one. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be 6-4. Strikeout 8. That is an 11. Too high. 2-5. Two, and that's going to be a ground ball to, Cree, to, uh, to Cabrera. Out number 2. 2 away. And that's going to bring up Miguel Cabrera. Cabrera is 0 for 1. 3-3. Three, three, range play. 1-2, fly ball to die. It's going past die. Die's range is on a 1-2. to two. That's a 5. He can't see it. It gets by him. That's going to be a base hit. And he can't get to it in time. And Cabrera is on with a base hit. So, Jock Jones is up. He's 0 for 1. Strategy roll is a 15. Tigers holding off. Here's the pitch. 4-2. That's going to be a walk. 10-5. And that is a walk. Marcus Thames is up. Thames is 0 for 1. Strategy roll 15. And here's the pitch. 1-6 blank. 1-5, ground ball to first, and that will retire the side. One, one run, two hits, no errors, and two left on for the Tigers. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Nick Swisher, Orlando Cabrera, Jim Tomey do up for the Sox. Top of the order, Nick Swisher, one for two, here's the pitch. Got a run scored in this game so far, 3-5. Walk plus. Now, in a walk plus, we add 10. 
minus 1, so we're adding 9. That's a 31, that's a 2, and that's going to be a walk. So they'll walk him, and that's going to bring up Orlando Cabrera. Cabrea is 0 for 2 today. Strategy rolls an 8. Infield coming in to double play depth. 3 3. Blank. 1 2. Double star 5. It's going to be a ground ball to third base to Cabrea. Cabrea will get it. Toss it over to Santiago. The out is at second. On a fielder's choice, and Cabrera is on. So they'll get Swisher out at second. Can't get the double play. So bot. Bottom of the fourth, one out with a runner on first. Jim Tomey will come up. He's one for two with a strikeout and a run scored. Strategy rolls a 10. One five, blank. Two two, double star six, and that's going to be a fly ball to Jones. And he'll make the catch two away. Paul Cornico, two for two today with a double. A run, RBI, strategy roll 13. <clears throat> One four blank. Three one, that's going to be a base hit past Cabrera. And let's take a look here. Cabrera would go to third. He'll go from first to third on a six. His base run rating is a three. He'll hold. And with that, it's going to bring up Jeremy Dye. Dye is one for two with a double also a run. Two RBIs on the day so far. Strategy rolls an eight. Four, two, range play at the ballpark. 1-4. It's a single to Jones. Jones's range is on a 1-4. to four. That's a 2. He'll make the catch. So 2, and that will retire the side. No runs, 1 hit, no errors, and 2 left on. After 4, it's Chicago 5, Detroit 1. We go to the top of the fifth. Brandon Ng, Raymond Santiago, Cleet Thomas do up for the Tigers. Ng is 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Here's the pitch. 6-1, Six, strike 16-19, too high. 4-1, that's going to be a power hit to Swisher. That's going to be a 7. That's going to be a double. On a 5 through 12, it becomes a double. And that is a double for Brandon Ng. Raymond Santiago is up. He's 0 for 1. Strategy rolls a 13. Here's the pitch. 4-4. Four, four, strikeout 8. 16. Too high. 2-1. Two, that's going to be a double pass swisher. So another run will come in on a double by Santiago. Ing will come home. It's now 5-2. to two. Top of the order. As we go to the top of the order, here's Clay Thomas. He's 0 for 2 today. Struck out his last two times up. 2-1, possible error on a throw. 2-5, base hit past Swisher. Error rating for Swisher is a set as a one to seven. That's a two. It's a throwing error. 
It's a one base error. And with that, Santiago will come home to score. Thomas now on second. So it's a two run game. Edgar Renti is one for two with a home run, a run, and an RBI. And that's his first, that was his first home run of the season, too. In the season here. Strategy roll nine. There's the pitch to Renti is one for two. By five strike, nine twenty is too high. No outs yet. Two, three, and that's going to be a ground ball to Ramirez. The out is at first. Thomas will go to second. <clears throat> And that's the first out of the inning. Gary Sheffield is 0 for 2. Struck out his last two times up at bat. And here's the pitch. 4-6 range play. 5-2 double star 2. That's a fly ball to Swisser. Swisser's range is on a 1-2. to two. That's a 2. He'll make the catch, goes back, sees it. And he'll make the catch, and that is a failed sacrifice roll. And with that, it will score Clay Thomas. So he'll get he doesn't get it on the sacrifice roll, but he gets it on He'll get it on the backup chance there. Maglio Ordonis is 0 for 2. Here's the pitch. It's a one-run game. 2-3, possible error. 5-1, power hit to die. That's a 7. That's going to be a double. And no error, and no error rating for die. Die's error range is a 1. That's a 20. And they've been hitting a lot of doubles lately. Ordonis will go to second. Cabrera is up. Cabrera is one for two. Strategy roll four. The pitch. Six two. Strikeout twelve. That's a four. Struck him out. So three runs, four hits, and one error. Gave up three runs in that. We go to the bottom of the fifth. It's going to be A.J. Brzezinski, Carlos Quinton, and Joe Creed do up for the Sox. Kenny Rogers can face three more batters before he's considered tired. Bottom of the fifth. Here's the pitch to A.J. AJ 5 4 home run 12 14 too high 3 3 ground ball to Thames and that's out number one one away Carlos Quinton is one for two with a home run a run two RBIs and that's his fifth home run of the season 2 5 range play 3-2, and that's going to be a double star 6. That's a fly ball to Jones. Jones' range is on a 1-4. to four. That's a 3. He'll make the catch. 2 away, and that's going to bring up Joe Creed. Creed is 1-2 for two with a double. And that's going to be 3-5. That's going to be a walk plus 19. That's a 13. And that's a walk. So as Creed will trot on down to first, we, Alex Ramirez will come up. We have a pickoff attempt. On a 1, it's a pickoff. A bulk, sorry. On a 2 through 5, it's a pickoff. It's a 5. He got picked off. He got picked off at, at first. 
No runs, no hits, no errors, and none left on with after five. It's Chicago five, Detroit four. We go to the top of the six. It's Jock Jones, Marcus Thames, and Brandon Ng do up for the Tigers. Marcus, uh, Jacques Jones is 0 for 1 with a walk. Here is the pitch. 2 6 range play at the ballpark. 2 1, it's a pop up to the catcher. That's a foul ball. That's a 4. That's going to be a foul ball. We're going to re pitch. 4, 5, strikeout plus 23, that's a 3, struck him and a look egg. And that's going to bring up Marcus Thames, Thames is 0 for 2, here's the pitch. 2, 6, range play. 3, 3. HR7, home run to Quinton. That's an 18, that is an 18. And that ball is out of here. It's a fly ball into the left field stands. And with that, Marcus Thames has tied this game up at five. Bullpen for the Sox is warming up. Brandon Ng, one for two with a double, a strikeout, and a run scored. 4-3 at the ballpark. 5-6, and that's going to be a ground ball to Gabrea. And that's out number two. Raymond Santiago is one for two with a double, a run, and an RBI. Six, four, strikeout, eight, 13, too high. Five, five, double star, six. That's a fly ball to die. And that will retire the side. One run, one hit, no errors. We go to the bottom of the six. It's Alexi Ramirez and Nick Swisher and Orlando Cabrera do up. And with that, we have a new pitcher on the mound for the Tigers. And they're going to bring in Freddie Dolis. So, Freddie Dolis will come in. That's his card. Dolis comes into the game with a 4.50 ERA. One loss, two innings pitched, no hits, no errors. Two walks. Taking a look here at the stats for Kenny Rogers. He went five innings, allowed ten hits, five runs, five earned runs, two walks, two strikeouts, one home run. An ERA of a 3.85. Got to face 9, 1, and 2 in the lineup here. Alexi Ramirez is 1 for 2. Here's the pitch. 6, 6. Double question mark. Double star in a 1 to 3. 15, too high. 4, 3. And that's going to be a ground ball to Cabrera. Out number one, one away, we go to the top of the order. Nick Swisher, one for two with a walk and a run scored. Two, four, that's going to be a walk. 11, 20, too high. One, four, pop up to Thames. And two away, Orlando Cabrera is 0 for three. 
Six, six, double question mark, double star to one to three, six, two, high. Three, five, fly ball out there to Jones. And that is out number three. So the Tigers retire their socks in order, three up, three down. No runs, no hits, no errors, a very easy inning to score. After six, we're tied at five. We go to the top of the seventh. It's going to be Cleet Thomas, Edgar Rentia, and Gary Sheffield due up for the Tigers. Xavier Jones uh, is tired. He is going to get pulled. And they're going to bring in J.D. Carousel. J.D. His, comes into a game with an ERA of a 6.67. Two and two-third innings pitched to that. Three hits, one strikeout, two walks. Taking a look at the stats here for Xavier. He went six innings, allowed eight hits, five runs, five earned runs, one walk, seven strikeouts, two home runs, an ERA of a 5.69. Top of the order, he's going to face one, two, and three. Here's the pitch to Cleet Thomas. Thomas is one for three with a strikeout, a run, and an RBI. Six, two, strikeout, 13. That's a five. Struck him out. One away, and that's going to bring up Edgar. Edgar is one for three with a home run, a run, and an RBI. 5-6, blank. 2-2, two, two. fly ball to Swisser. And that's out number two. Gary Sheffield 0 for 2 with a strikeout at an RBI. 4-1, possible error. 1-4, double star 3. It's going to be a ground ball. It's a ground ball to Cabrera. His error range is a five. That's an eleven. No error there. And sing, take me out to the ball game. So no runs, no hits, no errors as the Sox retire, return to favor and retired the Tigers in order. We go to the bottom of the seventh. It's going to be Jim Tomey, Paul Cornico, and Jeremy Dye due up for the White Sox. Let's take a look at the box score after six and a half innings have been played. Detroit. Scoring a run in the fourth, three runs in the fifth, a run in the sixth to tie the game up at five. Five runs on eight hits, no errors. Chicago scored a run in the first, four runs in the third. It's five runs on ten hits, one error. That's where we stand after six and a half. Jim Tomei is up. He's 0 for 3. Here's the pitch. Strikeout and a run scored. 5-6. They are keeping Freddie Dolison for right now. He leads off. Then Jim Tomei will lead off with a base hit. Strategy rolls a 13. Paul Cornico up. Cornico is 3-for-3 three three with a double, a run, and an RBI. 2-6, possible error on a throw. 2-4, pop up to Cabrera. And that is out number one. One away, infield, double play, Deb still. Freddie tired now, Jeremy Dye is up. He's one for three with a double or run. Two RBIs, they are going to leave him in. Strategy rolls a four. 3-3. Three, three. Double star, ground ball to Rentia. And that's gonna be an that's gonna be a double play. 
So no runs, one hit, and no errors. We go after seven. We're tied at five. We go to the top of the eighth. Maglio Odonis, Miguel Cabrera, and Jock Jones do up for the Tiger. They're going to also leave J, uh, JD coming out. Chicago making another, they're going to bring in a new pitcher here. They're going to bring in Bobby Jenkins. Actually, they're going to bring in Edwin Whistleman. That's his card. Whistleman will come into the game with a 90 ERA. No wins, no losses. He only pitched one-third of an inning, allowed four hits, one strikeout, and one walk. Taking a look here at the stats for J.D., he went one inning, allowed one strikeout, a 4.87 ERA. All right, here's the pitch to Maglio. He's two for three, four, one. That's going to be a strikeout, eight, nine, too high. Five, four, and that's going to be a ground ball to Cabrera. Out number one, one away. Miguel Cabrera is up. He's one for three. Five, five, walk plus 19. That is a 19, and that's going to be a walk. So with a walk for Cabrera, that's going to bring up Jock Jones. Jones is 0 for 2. Here's the pitch. Strategy rolls a 6. 2 6 blank. 1 5 ground ball to Whistleman. It's going to be a fielder's choice. The force out for Cabrera. So 2 away, and Jones is on by a fielder's choice. Marcus Thames is up. Thames is 0 for 3 with a home run, a run, and an RBI. 1-1 one, one at the ballpark. 6-1 blank. That's a rare play. And it's a slow roll to third base who possibly bobbles it and then throws wild to first. Resolved by rolling against the third baseman's error rating first for the bobble, then for the throw. Creed bobbles the ball. It's an error on Creed. And it's a one base error as he'll boot the ball. So runners now on first and second, two outs. And they're going to bring in Brent Kelvin to pinch run here. Brandon Ng will come up. Here's the pitch. Wesselman tired. 5-5. Five, five. That's going to be a walk plus 26. That's an 18. All right. The bases are loaded and they're going to go talk to Wesselman on the mound. Find out what's going on with him. All right, and with that, had to calm him down. Bullpen warming up. Here's the pitch. Santiago, one for three. Three, four, blank. Six, five. Ground ball to Cornico. And that will get him out of a jam. To, and the Tigers will leave him loaded.
So Brent will take over at left field. Carlos Goulin will come in. And Hensman will take over at third. So that's the changes there. It's no runs, no hits, one error. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Freddie Dole is tired. They are going to bring in a new pitcher. And they're going to bring in Todd Jones. Actually, they're going to bring in Fernando Roddy. That's his card. So Roddy will come into the game with a 4.50 ERA. Two innings pitched, about two hits, one strikeout, no walks. Taking a look here at the stats for Freddie Dolas. He went two innings, allowed one hit, an ERA of a 2.25. A.J. Pazinski, Carlos Quinton, and Joe Cree to do up for Chicago. 4-1 blank. 1-1 one, one, double star four. Ground ball to Gulen. Out number one. One away. Carlos Quinton up. Quinton is one for three with a home run, a run, and two RBIs. 3-4. That's a blank. 4-1, that's going to be a double star two. Ground ball to Hessman. Out number two. Joe Creed, one for two with a double and a walk. 2-1, possible error. 6-1, power hit to Thomas. On a seven, that's going to be a base hit. It's an error. Thomas's error range is in a 1 to 16. That's a 17. It's a one base error. And with that, the White Sox have a runner now in scoring position. They're not sending him to go steal. Alex Ramirez is one for three. It's a strategy roll of a one. They're not sending him to steal. Three, four, blank. Three, three, ground ball to Roddy. And that will retire the side. So no runs, one hit, and no errors. After eight, we're tied at five. We go to the top of the ninth. Cleet Thomas, Edgar Rentier, Gary Sheffield. Who will win? We'll find out which team will pull off some ninth inning magic. Aaron Whistleman coming out. We're going to bring in Matt Thornton. That's his card. Thornton, no ERA. Three innings pitched and had four hits, one walk. Four strikeouts, no and one walk. Take a look at the stats here for Aaron Whistleman. Two walks, an ERA of a 20.77. So... Thornton will have to face the top of the order. Cleet Thomas, Egger, and Gary Shetfield. Let's take a look at the score of the game so far. So with that, Detroit scoring a run in the fourth, three runs in the fifth, a run in the sixth. They've been shut out in the seventh and in the eighth inning. Five runs, eight hits, one error. Chicago scoring a run in the first. Four runs in the third. They've been shut out since the fourth inning. Five runs and 12 hits. Two errors. It all comes down to the ninth inning. Clay Thomas. Here's the pitch. 
one six double question mark double star and a one to thirteen eighteen too high three six that's going to be a double and thomas is on with a double And with that, they are going to bring in Chris Granderson to pinch run here. Edgar Rentier, one for four with a home run, a run, and an RBI. Strategy rolls a two. Five, two, blank. Six, five, base hit past Creed. And that will load the bases. I mean, sorry, that will put runners on the corners. Gary Sheffield is up. He's 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and an RBI. They're not letting Sheffield take the hit here. They're going to bring in Michael, Michael Holman to take over as the designated hitter. Strategy rolls a 1. Here's the pitch. Two, four, and that's going to be a ground ball to Cabrera. Are they going to try to score? Yes. The defense try for the out at home, or they're going to go for the double play. They're going to go for the double play. Granderson will score. Rentier will go to second, and the out is at first, and the Tigers take a one-run lead here in the top of the ninth. One out, Maglio Odonis is up. He's two for four with a double. Strategy rolls a three. Here's the pitch. Four, four, blank. Four, three, that's going to be a base hit to Cabrera. And with that, Rentia will come home on a 3 through 6. Base red rating is a 2. He'll get the hold sign. One out. Thornton tired. Whistleman. Mike Hessman up. Here's the pitch to Hessman. 2-2. Two, two, possible error. Error on a throw. 6-5. Ground ball to Thornton. Error rating for Thornton. That's a zero. It's a one base error. It's now 7-5 and the Tigers have taken a two run lead. So with that, Thornton will come out of the game. And they are going to go with... We're going to bring in Scott Lindbeck. Lindbeck now up. Comes into the game with a 3.0 ERA. Three innings pitched, allowed two hits, three strikeouts, one walk. Here's the pitch. Uh, real quick, let's take a look at the stats here for Matt Thornton. He went one-third of an inning, allowed three hits, two runs, two earned runs, an ERA of a 5.45. He is responsible for the two runners on. 3-4, possible error. 1-1, one, one, double star 6. That's out there to Swisher. Swisher's error range is on a 1-7. to seven. That's a 1. It's an error. It's a 1 base error as he drops the ball. 
and the bases are loaded. Carlos Goulin is up. Here's the pitch. He's batting a 250. 4 2. Ground ball to Creed. They're going to go for the double play. And they don't get it. It's a six. It's a force out at. The only play is at first. So Ordonis will score. Mike goes to third. Kent will. Uh, Brent will go to second. And it's now a three run game. As the Tigers find some of that ninth inning magic. Two outs and Brandon Ng is up. He's one for three with a double, a walk. A strikeout and a run. Here's the pitch. 1-1. One, one, blank. Four, six. Ground ball to Cabrera. And that will retire the side. So with that three runs, three hits, and no errors, we go to the bottom of the ninth. Nick Swisher, Orlando Cabrera, and Jim Tomey do up for the Sox. And they're going to bring in the Tigers. We're going to bring in Todd Jones. That's his card. Oh, right. So Granderson will take over in center field. And we go to the top of the order. It's one, two, and three for the White Sox. Here's the pitch to Swisher. He's one for three with a walk and a run scored. They're down by three. Six, three, double star. Fly ball out there to Clavin. Out number one. Here's Orlando Cabrera. He's 0 for four. Cabrera not taking the hit. They're going to bring in Dwayne Rice to hit. Weiss batting a 500. Here's the pitch. 1 6 at the ballpark. 5 1. That's going to be a double pass or Donis. And Weiss is on with a double. Jim Tomei is up. He's two for four with a strikeout and a run. Here's the pitch. Five, six. Home run chance on a one to 20. That's a 15. 16 or less. That's a four. It's a two run home run by Jim Tomei. That ball is out of here. It's a fly ball to left field as it goes into the upper deck. Tomei takes it to a one-run game. And the tying run comes to the plate. Paul Cornico comes up. Here's the pitch. He's three for four. You know what? Three, three. That's going to be a blank, and they're going to intentionally walk him. All right, they put Cornico on first. He's going to be, we're going to have a pinch runner here for him. 
No, we're not. It's a hit and run. Infield going to bring the corners in. Todd Jones tired the tying the go ahead run at the plate. Jeremy Die one for four. Three five range play. Six five double star six. That's a fly ball to Die. Die's range is in a one to two. That's a five. It's a base hit. He can't get to it in time. And with that, Cornico will go to second. There is no throw on that. And with that, Die will stay at first. So runners on the corner. Todd Jones, I don't think we went over his stats, but real quick, he's got one save in ERA of a 7.83, two and one third innings pitched, allowed four hits, two strikeouts, one walk. Taking a look at the stats here for Freddy, uh, for Roddy, he went one inning, allowed one hit, an ERA of a 3.0. And here is the pitch to A.J. Przinsky. He's one for four with a double and a strikeout. 3-4, that's going to be a walk, 2-15, too high. 1-5, base hit past Santiago. And that's a tie game. And Jeremy Dye on second will come home on a 3-6, through six. that's a 2. He'll stay. And they're going to bring in Brian Anderson to pinch run here for for, Jer uh, for Jeremy Dye. And with that, we have a new pitcher on the mound. Jones is coming up. And they're going to bring in Aquino Lopez. Lopez, no ERA. He's pitched four and two-third innings, allowed three hits, two strikeouts, no walks. He does have a win, though. Taking a look here at the stats for Todd Jones. He went one-third of an inning allowed. Four hits, three runs, three earned runs, one walk, one home run, an ERA of 11.74. This game is now tied. Go ahead, run on second. Carlos Quinton is up. He's one for four with a home run, a run, and two RBIs. Strategy rolls a three. The crowd here at Cellular Field is on their feet. One, three, blank. Six, three, fly ball to Gavin, to Clavin. Two away. Joe Creed is two for three with a double and a walk. Strategy roll 19. Here's the pitch. 6-3. Home run chance on a 1-16. That's a 5. That's a 6, and that's the game. And Joe Creed will win it for the White Sox on a walk-off home three-run home run. That's a fly ball out there to, into left field, and Creed will win the game for the White Sox on a three-one on a three-run walk-off home run. And the crowd here on the south side of Chicago goes crazy.
Final score, 11 to 8. Final line score coming right up. And with that, the, D the Chicago White Sox defeat the Detroit Tigers eight with a score of 11 to 8. Detroit, 8 runs on 11 hits with 1 error. Chicago, 11 runs, 17 hits, and 4 errors. Scott Lindick will pick up his first win. Todd Jones gets his first loss. We'll take a look at that in just a second here. Edgar Rentia will hit his, pick up his first home run of the replay. Marcus Thames gets his third home run of the season. Carlos Quinton hits his fifth home run of the season. Jim Tomey will pick up his first. And Joe Creed hits his third home run. Taking a look at the stats here. Scott Lindvik with the win. He went two-thirds of an inning, allowed no hits, no an ERA of a 2.43. Todd Jones gets the loss. Four hits, five runs, five earned runs, one walk, one home run, an ERA of a 19.57. Aquino Lopez went one-third of an inning, allowed one hit, one run, one earned run, one home run, an ERA of a 1.80. So with that, the Tigers will go to 6-6, six and six, and the White Sox will improve to 6-5, and five, and that's going to do it for us here at U.S. Cellular Field. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and a thumbs up. And remember to click that bell notification to be notified of when new videos in the 2008 replay go up. And when I go live with all of the Philadelphia Phillies and Field of Dreams. Until then, I'm Scooty007. We'll see you for another exciting game in the 2008 replay with Inside Pitch. Until then, take care, everyone. Bye-bye.